Hello guys, how are you? Hope you're excited because today we will make a really useful smart contract. It will be a heritage smart contract. There will be a father and some child. The father can add funds to the contract and the father to prove he's alive should click the alive function at least once a month. At any time, the child can ask if the father is dead or not and it will check if the button has been clicked the last month. If it has not been clicked, it will assume the father is dead and it will share the money of the father to the child equally. So let's begin. Pragma solidity carrot 0 0.4.0 and we will start our contract last week. Our last will contract should have some, some variables. It will have an owner because just the owner will be able to uh, add the child. It will have a unsigned integer 256. That's the type of the date. We will use the timestamp. A timestamp is like the seconds that have passed since January 1st, 1970. For example, that's the timestamp of this date in particular. And we will use that to see when was the last time the father did click the alive button. So the, the UI int, it will be public and it will be a last touch. We will also have an array of addresses. Here we will have the, it will be public as well. And here we will have a list of the child. Then we will have an event for the status. We want to print on the console a lot of stuff. We want to have a string with a message an address that will be the user and a uh, UIN 256 to print the timestamp. It will be the time. So let's begin. Our constructor will be the function last wheel with uppercase, La oops, last wheel. And it should be a payable function because the when you initialize it, you should be able to pass some money. So here we will assign the owner to the message.sender so we know how, who the owner is. Of course, we will update the last touch to the time it has been created to the block doit timestamp. The block has a lot of properties. It's the properties of the block that has been mined. One of the properties is the timestamp. That's the time that has been mined. You can also see the difficulty, the hash, the amount of gas, and a lot of other stuff. Here we are, we are interested on the timestamp. And we will also create a status for the event. We will print um, last will contract created. And it was created by the, by the message.sender. And also it has a time block.timestamp. Okay, that's the constructor. We will have a very simple function to deposit funds. This function, of course, should be payable. And here the father can deposit more funds to the contract. It will not have anything, just a, a log event where we will put a, a funds deposit and it will have a message.sender and a blog.timestamp. This will be able to do by any person. Maybe someone else want to have to add some money to the to the heritage. We will also have our classic modifier for only the owner because only the owner will be able to do some things. For example, add child. So let's create our add child function. Add child. This function, as I told you, will be only owner because he will be the only one to be able to do it. We want to print. We are logging a lot of things to the console that will be more useful to test it. A child added and this function will have an address as a parameter that will be the child address. And instead of message.sender here, we want to print the child address and block.timestamp. That way we will know which child was added. Then we need three more functions. One will be the, the, the still alive. This function will be able to see if the person is still alive and it will just update the last touch to the blog.timestamp. And since we are being very professional to our logs, we will also have an status. This st status will have a message. I'm 
still alive. Because the father is still alive, it will be done by the message dot sender that will be the father, and of course we'll have our block dot timestamp. Then we need a function to see if he is dead. He is dead. This function is anyone can ask for this function. <coughs> Sorry, it will have a status as well. This status will see uh, someone is checking if is dead or not and who is checking that message dot sender and at what time block punto timestamp we can make a function later in the future that if someone asks too many times if he's dead he can be deserted so he will not receive the money since he's asking a lot if the father is dead or not then we need to have an if function that check if he is dead or not so here we need to check our block dot timestamp <coughs> sorry and this should be greater than the last touch but the last touch plus something in this case will be the last time plus 20 120 this is the amount of seconds that that will be the 20 minutes but it could be more if you want to have a month and if this is true we will call the function that we have not created this is the function give money to childs I will leave it empty for the moment and I will put it right here <coughs> sorry if he's not dead <coughs> we will make a status as well this status will be I am still alive he's still alive it will be done by the message dot sender and of course block dot timestamp then the give money function is very important here we will of course first add an status because now if this function is called it will execute he, he will be dead <laughs> so actually he will look I am dead take my money and it will be message.sender block.timestamp then we need to see how much money which each person which a child receive so we will have an amount per child that it will just be this dot balance that the balance of the contract that has been deposited divided by the amount of child child's dot length okay now we just need to make a for loop to iterate over the child and transfer them the money ui int i equals zero semicolon i less than child's dot length i plus <coughs> plus and in this for loop we will just make the child's i dot transfer money we need just to transfer money to this guy and how much money amount per child Okay, and the clear identifier amount child is balance dot child's dot length. It's sales child's. Ah, here is not well written. Child's. Okay, so here we have everything for our smart contract.